What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. Today, I am talking about the Atlanta Hawks. Y'all already know what's going on, but before I get into today's topic, make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to the channel. Also, the first thing you will see in my description box below is the link to buy me a coffee, help fuel this channel, help fuel the Hawks to a win. We ain't playoff, playoff? Can't even talk about playoffs. I need to win a game first, but make sure you go ahead and help your boy out and buy me a coffee. Also, you will see another link. That is the link to Simone and I's Tough Calls podcast featuring your favorite, you know, former athletes, now analysts, favorite sports reporters, favorite anchors, all that good stuff. And coming soon, your favorite coaches. Ooh, did I just drop that little tease on y'all? Anyways, make sure y'all subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Just look up Tough Calls and you'll find us. That's on point. That's on blank. That's on period. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's video. I am talking about does Lloyd Pierce need to get the ax? Does Lloyd Pierce need to be let go? Does Lloyd Pierce need to be fired? I'm saying right now, no. But that could change by Friday. Ask me again Friday about 11 o'clock. Ask me again Friday about 11 o'clock because Coach Lloyd Pierce is not traveling with the team because of the birth of his second child. So one, congratulations, Lloyd Pierce. I'm sorry I'm making this video. I don't think it's really his fault. We're going to see how Nate McMillan, because that's what's going to be in his place, Nate McMillan does in these two games, both in Boston. If they split, I don't think it changes my opinion on Lloyd Pierce. But if they go in Boston and win both games and we see a different type of Hawks team, if we see a Hawks team that closes out fourth quarters, doesn't get off to bad starts, better coaching decisions, because Lloyd Pierce hasn't been the greatest at making substitutions and things like that. If we see those three things drastically change, both games in Boston and the Hawks win, ooh, Lloyd Pierce, I'm gonna have to jump on that Nate Nick Millen bandwagon, I can't even cap. So y'all let me know. I want to get a consensus right now. If you're on Lloyd Pierce's side, comment below, hashtag Lloyd Pierce. If you're on Nate McMillan's side, comment below, hashtag Nate McMillan. I want to get a consensus from my subs, which I adore. I love y'all. But make sure y'all comment down below, hashtag Lloyd Pierce or hashtag Nate McMillan. Let me know what side you are on. Let me know who you think should be a late Atlanta Hawks head coach going forward. But I'm going to give a few reasons why right now I don't think Lloyd Pierce at this very moment, again, like I said, ask me Friday about 11 o'clock, I might, might have a different tune, might be singing a different song. But as of right now, I think Coach Lloyd Pierce should stay the Atlanta Hawks head coach. Here's why. One, the injuries. And this is the main thing, too, the injuries. The Hawks have played 27 games so far. Bogdan Bogdanovich, who's supposed to be our second go-to guy, who's supposed to be the guy to take so much pressure off of Trey Young, the guy who's supposed to be able to create his own shot, handle the ball a lot more. That way, Trey could play some more off ball and we could do a lot more things on offense. That guy has only played in nine games, and it was the first nine games of the season. Like, that's a big piece. We pay him a lot of money. To come in and do a lot of things for us. And he ain't here. He's only played in nine games. And I don't want to hear any about the, he wasn't playing well while he was in the lineup. You know, he got he got benched for Cam Reddy. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear none of that. It was only the first nine games. You still get acclimated to a brand new team, brand new system, brand new city. I don't want to hear none of that. Bogey's only played in nine games. Chris Dunn. He ain't played in no games. Zero, zilch, nada, nothing. We haven't seen him. I don't even know if he got a Hawks jersey for real. Does he even have a jersey? Is there a Chris Dunn jersey out there? I'm obviously just playing. I know there is. But still, the point is, who's he's supposed to be our best defender on the team next to DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish? We haven't seen him on the court. I ain't even seen him lace up his shoes. So, Chris Dunn hasn't played in any games. Danilo missed some games. In the beginning of the season, obviously he's playing now, and, you know, he's a little streaky too, but he's played only in 15 games. Rondo hasn't played. I don't even, is Rondo playing again this season? What's going on with Rondo? 
He's only played in 14 games. Tony Snell has played in 14 games. He's come on and been better. Tom Jones is a good move. But anyways, a lot of the guys, pretty much everybody, besides Solomon Hill, who, you know, has played fairly well, but he wasn't supposed to be a big contributor. Our big contributors like Bogdan Bogdanovich, Chris Dunn, the defensive end, Rajon Rondo, backup point guard to help facilitate. Those guys, when all those guys are out, we haven't won a game. When Rondo, Bogdanovich, and Hunter, DeAndre Hunter, who's, all now, who's out now, what I'm going to get to in a second, when all those guys are out, we haven't won a game. We're winless. Those guys are important. You can't predict injuries. All the injuries that the Hawks have gone through, I don't think you can put that on Lloyd Pierce. You can't put that on Lloyd Pierce. So if we turn this thing around and still make the playoffs, I think that says a lot about Lloyd Pierce. If we still turn around and make the playoffs, you know, get healthy, make the playoffs, weather this storm, well, Lloyd Pierce has to stay. Now, depending if this thing gets much worse, and like I said, depending on how we look with Nate McMillan as our head coach, I don't know. We're going to find out. But also, another reason, and this still continue upon the injuries, but DeAndre Hunter being out is one of the biggest blows. Probably next to Bogdanovich, the biggest blow the Hawks have suffered this season. DeAndre Hunter, our defensive rating with him on the court this season, 108.4. That's good for 10th in the league. Top 10, even though I know it's 10, it's still top 10. 108.4, 10th in the league, our defensive rating with DeAndre Hunter. Now, without him, it's 120.3. That drops us down all the way from 10th to 27th in the league. That's a big jump. DeAndre Hunter and Cam Reddish guard the best team's opposing player. Or the best player on the opposing team. Y'all know what I mean. That's a big guy to lose. And he was playing so well offensively, too. Really showing confidence. Getting to the rack. Knocking down open shots. Knocking down open threes. He was just doing it all. Like I said, he was one of the most consistent, if the not most consistent Hawk on this squad so far this season. And to lose a guy like that, you've seen why we have lost the games we have lost without DeAndre Hunter. He's a big piece. He's important to this team. So with all that being said, I don't really think Lloyd Pierce should be fired. I don't think he should go anywhere just because the injuries have been so bad. Now, if he doesn't weather this storm, start making better decisions when it comes to substituting and things like that, which I think he has started to make better decisions when it comes to when to take out Trey, when to put in Trey, not to have Trey and John out at the same time, or if you have them out at the same time, not for very long, because that's when we kind of start to crumble and stuff. So, I don't think Lloyd should go. Now, there's still a good part of the season left. Like I said, by Friday, my opinion might be totally changed. I might be screaming Nate McMillan's praises and asking him to be the head guy right then and there. That is right now, Lloyd Pierce needs to stay the head coach. This might not be the greatest example, but look at Brett Brown. Brett Brown got how many years in Philly? We got to give Lloyd Pierce time. That's the point. Got to give this man time and a full healthy team to work with as well. He hasn't had a full healthy team this whole season. Give Lloyd Pierce some time. And make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Check out the, dis the link down in my description box below to buy me a coffee. Help fuel this channel, help fuel the Hawks to a win and hopefully a playoff season. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. That link is down in my description box below as well. Talking to your favorite former athletes, current athletes, anchors, reporters, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the Tough Calls Podcast with your boy and Shabam. So, again, Lloyd Pierce needs to stay. But let me know what you guys think. Hashtag Lloyd Pierce or hashtag Nate McMillan. And until I talk to you guys next time, peace.